Hello there, Internet. My name is Tommy, the Digital Creation Specialist for the Bathurst Clark Resource Library. And today, we're going to be looking at elements of a story and storytelling, and how we can turn this great reading comprehension exercise into a fantastic game for the whole family. All right, let's get started, shall we? So, what are the elements of a story? Well, the books that we read, the movies that we watch, and the TV shows that we enjoy are all different kinds of stories. And they all have three main things in common. They have characters, a setting, and a plot. What do these mean? Let's briefly take a look at those. So, characters are basically the people in the story. They are who the story happens to. They come in two main flavors, the main characters and supporting characters. Main characters are generally folks that will stick around for the whole story and the story revolves around them. Whereas a supporting character has a smaller role in it, but are still as important because they help move the story along. But then there's the setting. The setting is basically where the story happens. And they come in two main flavors as well. You need to ask yourself, where does the story happen? And of course, when does the story happen? It could take place at a baseball field, or it could take place at a baseball field 50 years ago, which is very different. These are all elements of the setting. And then, most importantly, there's the plot. These are the events and things that happen in the story. So, there, as with all stories, there's a beginning, a middle, and the end. But when you're looking at the plot, we go a little bit more in depth. So there's the beginning, how the story starts. Then we introduce the problem. This is the main elements of the story that make it interesting to listen to. Then the characters will work through the problem and reach a solution. And how they get there is part of the fun. And after they've reached the solution, they can finally reach an ending. So how can we take these three elements and turn this into a reading comprehension exercise? Well, simply, if you can actually understand what, what the characters are, what the plot is, and what the settings of a story are, it can really help you understand where the writer is coming from and how we understand a story. And it's a great exercise to share with your children. We can also turn it into a fantastic storytelling game. So, in this game, we're going to have some decks of cards that will help us create our own shared story. The goal of the game is to come up with a fun story shared by all the players, and we will work together to reach a specific ending. To do it, it will require two decks of cards. One deck of cards with characters and places, and another deck of cards with a whole bunch of different endings. We start the game by drawing an ending card, and this is the story goal. This is where you want to reach. And you start the game, once we all know what the ending is going to be, by saying, once upon a time, then you're going to draw a card from the deck of cards that has characters and settings. And you add these elements to the story. And then after you've introduced that element, you pass it on to the next player who continues the story, drawing another card from the deck and adding that element to the story as well. And you keep on going until you come up with a really fun story and you feel that you've reached a good part where you can actually finally get to the ending that you drew. And of course, to help you along, I've created a document for you all that'll get you started. So, if you take a look here, I've got a bunch of great blank cards for you to make your own. But of course, we've got some really fun elements here. So you can add elements like a pirate, a fairy, a place like a hidden village or a spaceship, and a whole bunch of different endings for you to do. So, why don't you all give this a shot? Have a lot of fun and share some great stories with, with each other. Again, my name is Tom, the Digital Creation Specialist over at Bathurst Clark. Don't forget to like and share this video if you really enjoyed it. And I would love to see and hear about all the different stories you guys are creating with hashtag VPL at home. All right, guys, this is Tom signing off. Have a great day.